it's probably not but i'm a concerning girlfriend and now i'm stressed and all dad told me was i just got a concerning phone call what's karina's phone number which is anthony's brother's girlfriend okay what is going on guys um i know it's been a really long time since i've posted and i'm really sorry but that's what today's video is for i'm gonna let you guys know why i haven't been posting and just getting ready so if you've been wondering where the hell i've been or if you don't really care because you just don't care and you just want to see me get ready and talk about random stuff then uh, just keep watching <laughs> okay so to start out um, I'm gonna be telling you guys about a few new products that I've been using so um, if you guys have watched the video um, that I did with Vietnay where we switched each other's makeup routine and I will attempt to link it either up there if I can figure out how or down below then you should go check that one out it's actually really funny and she put me on on a lot of products so she put me on with the Maybelline, I mean not Maybelline, the uh, Milani foundation and I was using that for a really long time but it was really thick um, so it kept like not necessarily clogging up my pores but it would make my face look funny. Um, so I wanted to try something different so this time around I got the Maybelline Fit Me. This one, I actually really like it. It's really good for summer because it's a lot more lightweight. I feel like the Milani one would be good for winter or i know she mixes the two and i feel like that might be a better combination but i don't know another product that i have recently been really 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 loving and it's actually been helping a lot with like the redness um on my acne and stuff like that which most of the like acne on my face is really just like red spots from old acne or something like that like scars so I've been trying this Maya Badescu water with, it's a facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And I heard that aloe is actually really good for your skin, especially on your face. It helps a lot with redness. Um, I don't know about cucumber and green tea. I know it's good for you, but I don't know what exactly it does. But um, I'm going to use this to prime my face. Okay, so now that this is kind of dry on my face, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 120, which is classic ivory. Um, and I've also been first going in with a brush. I've been using the Morphe M439 because it gives me a little bit better coverage and I usually use this on my cheeks right where my acne is to give me a little bit more coverage and then I use my sponge for the rest of my face. Another new product that I have been using recently is the um, IT Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. At first, I was really iffy on this product because um, it's they literally have one shade. But then I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I should try it. And then whenever I bought something else, this was a free gift um, whenever I got it. So I actually got the chance to try it before like I ended up buying it. But anyways, this is the... Uh, it cosmetics brow power and the tip of it is really thick but I actually do like it the only thing is you pretty much have to use concealer to clean it up or else it's not gonna look good necessarily like if you want like a sharp brow it's not gonna look very good um, so you'll have to for sure go in with concealer afterwards and clean it up okay this product's the same this is probably not gonna change and if it does change, it's not gonna last. If it does, then I give that brand some big props, but I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape to clean up under my brows, and after I clean up under my brows, I'm also gonna use the same concealer for under my eyes, um, a little bit over my acne, and my chin. Okay, so recently, um, I haven't been posting, well I did record, I'm gonna let's say that, I did record, I did a review on the um, Life's a Drag palette by Manny MUA. 
I just never got a chance to edit it and post it and it's crazy because I was so excited about that. Um, I bought the palette the day that it was released. I got it in on the 12th and I still to this day have not finished editing it and it's at the point where now I'm just recording another video because that palette has been out for so long in a couple more days it's already gonna be a month so I haven't I didn't really get a chance to because um, I did start a new job recently my schedule is different um, I actually have more time off but a lot of other stuff has been going on um, like we had a passing in the family um, my grandfather actually so yeah my grandpa he passed away with cancer um, I'm not trying to make this video sad, I swear. Anyways, so yeah, that happened. So that stopped me from being like kind of motivated, I guess. I was kind of just down. And then on top of that, I've been kind of sick lately. It hasn't been anything like crazy. It's just, I have really low iron. Um, so with my low iron, I bruise easy I'm always super super tired like super tired and I always get like these really dark bags but I've been so tired recently literally I won't wake up till like 12 or 1 and it's just by that time like I usually have to go to work in a couple of hours and then it's like at that point like I have to spend like I literally go to sleep wake up as soon as I wake up I get ready as soon as I'm ready I go to work and then whenever I come home it's usually late at night or there's a bunch of people at my house so I don't I can't record or anything like that so it just it makes it hard especially living in an apartment um, because I live with my boyfriend and my boyfriend's brother and my boyfriend's brother always has people over at the house so it makes it really hard for me to record since we're in an apartment the walls are super thin like it's there's no like I can scream in this room and you can barely hear me across the house no like if I'm talking normal you can hear me everywhere I'm pretty sure the people above me know I do YouTube the people below me probably know I do YouTube everywhere so I don't know it's kind of frustrating um, and I know people are, are always like oh you know if you want to do YouTube you want to pursue you pursue YouTube you have to go 110% and it's like I completely understand that but right now I can't afford that I have a, an apartment I have to pay my bills I can't just drop everything and be like oh let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that YouTube works out like I can't afford that right now so um, I don't know I just record when I can and I upload when I can I'm sorry that I'm not super consistent um, I've been trying to think of more um, videos that's gonna be better content for you guys or something easier I really want to try vlogging because vlogging I feel like would be way easier for me because then I can take you guys with me whenever I go run my errands and I can do you know more fun stuff or just different things like that but I am one of those people that I care with like if someone's staring at me like I care and I know I shouldn't but I'd be like why are you looking at me and then I get all nervous and then I just like shut down and I don't I've tried vlogging like four or five times and every single time I either forget to vlog like I will go run like two or three errands and forget that I'm supposed to be recording or a lot of places they'll be like oh you're not allowed to record or anything like that and a lot of people just look at me crazy because I live in Fort Worth like this is not a place that you see vloggers, you know, like a lot of people that vlog, they live in like LA or just somewhere in Cali or something like that that's going to make it like like it's normal. But here it's not normal, like you hardly ever see um, vloggers. But I think I'm just going to start doing it and I'm just going to say, you know what, fuck what, every, fuck what everybody else says, like I'm just going to go for it. I don't know. But anyways, um, another product that I have been using a lot recently, and I actually really, really like it, is the um, Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. But I only use this part um, under my eyes, my forehead, and my chin, so my T-zone. I don't use it on my cheeks. I use the either the Laura Mercier, which I actually ran out of it. So recently, I've been using the Airspun. Um, but I only use this in the spots in my t-zone because it's a brightening powder so I don't want to brighten my whole face I would like to only brighten 
my T-zone. I do it on my entire nose because I get extremely oily. Right now, Anthony is in Austin and I'm stuck here at the house by myself because he went with his brother to Austin to the Guadalupe River so they can go float and there's like a concert and some other stuff, but I couldn't go because I'm working. And Anthony wasn't even supposed to go. He just like decided last night and they left at like seven o'clock this morning. And I was like, well, <laughs> that's great. But his dad just called us and said that we're gonna go to Waco tomorrow for the lake and they're gonna meet us there. So that exciting. I finally get to go to the freaking lake and it's been all summer. Like usually that's all I do is go to the lake every summer. Like I, that's, I live at the lake on during this time. Okay, now I'm just brushing off all this powder off of my face. I'm going to bronze my face because I look like a ghost. And I don't have my freaking bronzer. It's all the way over there, so we are big. Okay, I'm back and out of breath and I shouldn't be and I don't know why I am, but anyways. This product has not changed either. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I freaking love this stuff. It smells like coconuts. Some people say it smells, smells like sunscreen, but I think they're crazy. Because to me, it smells like coconuts and I freaking love it. I'm trying to think what else has been going on with me. I feel like a lot has happened and I don't know what you guys know or not. But I feel like I should start being more active on Snapchat. So make sure that you guys go add me on Snapchat. And um, yeah, because I hardly ever use it and I feel like I should use it more. But I don't, I don't know. I kind of do fun stuff sometimes, occasionally, not really, but I'm gonna try. Now, I'm gonna put this bad boy down and I'm gonna use that banana powder once again and I'm just gonna use a little bit right on the tip of this Morphe sponge and I'm gonna cut out my contour starting from the middle of my tragus to the corner of my lips. Now I'm going to do my eyes, which I'm actually gonna do something pretty simple because um, I'm Skylar and I'm lazy and yeah that's my only excuse is I'm lazy so I'm just gonna do like maybe some black eyeliner and then some like dramatic ass lashes because that makes it look like I did something when I really didn't you know you know what I mean so also I'm gonna use these lashes because um, or I'm gonna use the lashes that I'm gonna use but I have to go get them because they're over there and I don't have them yet but I'm gonna use those lashes because I did use use those lashes for the first time in my review for the life's a drag palette but since i didn't post that i'm going to show you guys what they look like now because they're freaking amazing and they're only ten dollars and i know the girl that is selling them and there's like a bunch of different kinds and they're freaking cute and they're only ten dollars and they come with a little like compact like hard case like ten dollars and you get a nice ass pair of lashes plus a compact girl these are the lashes they are the 3d mink lashes in the style desert yeah it just it comes with the lashes and then this cute little case and yeah they're super pretty like look at how full they are i'm just gonna do some eyeliner with my nyx matte eyeliner I don't think I'm gonna do a wing because I'm too lazy for all that. So I'm just gonna do um, like a, a line across my lid. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a simple little line and then we'll go from there. Now I'm gonna drench my face in this amazing stuff. <gasps> Guys, I didn't tell y'all I also got a tattoo. Yeah, if you have me on Snapchat, you probably would have seen it. Um, but my mom got a tattoo as well on um, the same day. And this is my first tattoo like ever and it's on my ribs, which was kind of a mistake, but you know, yellow, right? Like, fuck it. So now I'm just going to apply these lashes. 
Oh, and just so you know, I will link the website to where you can get these lashes down below because I know you guys are going to want them because they're so f***ing cute. Oh, I forgot mascara. Holy Jesus. Okay, let me just do this right quick. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. They're so pretty. Dad's calling me again. Hold on, guys. So, Anthony's dad just called me. And you know how I told you guys how Anthony's at the Guadalupe River floating right now? Well, I don't know if I told, I forgot if I told you guys, but anyways, he's at the Guadalupe River right now with his brother and his brother's girlfriend and some other friends. And I'm at home because I have work tonight and dad just called me and said that Anthony got bit by something, but whenever Anthony's brother Dom called him, he just hung up really fast. He was like super like stressed out and like stumbling on his words and stuff. And then he just hung up. And now neither one of them are answering their phone. So now I'm extremely worried on what's going on. So Anthony got bit by something and they won't tell me. Nobody's answering their phones and I'm so stressed out right now. I didn't even want him to go to begin with and now something happens to him. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Guys, like I'm, s I'm so stressed out right now. Like, Anthony's pretty much allergic to everything on this face of the freaking planet. And now he's getting bit by stuff at the freaking Guadalupe River. Like I know that it's probably not that big of a deal like, oh he got bit, oh do 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 do. But he's allergic to like everything. So like, this could be really bad. <laughs> it's probably not, but I'm a concerning girlfriend and now I'm stressed. And all dad told me was, I just got a concerning phone call what's Karina's phone number, which is Anthony's brother's girlfriend. Okay, well, hopefully I hear back from him ASAP. But anyways, in the meantime, I'm gonna put a mascara on my lower lash line and then figure out what the hell kind of lip I'm gonna do and then, yeah. Dude, I'm so nervous. Like my stomach is literally like turned upside down. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Like, it, it feels so nauseous because I don't know what's going on. Like, I seriously feel like a mother right now and it's not even my kid. <sighs> Let me put on highlight. Highlight makes me feel better, right? Highlight, where's my highlight? Hold on, I'm gonna go get highlight. Okay, highlight, it, it fixes everything. Okay, just like glitter. Glitter and highlight make my life better. Well, actually Anthony does, but whatever. So we're just gonna highlight. <laughs> Nervous highlight, that's not very good, but whatever. Dad better call me back like ASAP because I'm super worried. I don't know what's going on. I really should be using a um, lip liner, but I don't have one for this color, so whatever. Oh, Dad's calling me back. Hold on, guys. Hello? Hey. What happened? Okay, guys, so I did change um, because I thought I was gonna have to leave because it turns out Anthony did get bit by something. Um, he had an extremely bad allergic reaction. The ambulance had to come pick him up and take him to the hospital. Um, I might have to go all the way to Austin to pick him up to bring him back here so he can go see his doctor. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. I'm freaking out still, trying not to go crazy but oh my god <laughs> that was a crazy 20 minutes so um yeah that's what happened but anyways Anthony will be fine um he's in the at the hospital now or on his way to the hospital and I'm probably gonna go there to see him even though it is like a three hour drive but you know whatever I love that boy um so yeah this is what I came up with during this chit chat get ready with me. I don't even know if I'm getting ready or if I got ready for work anymore or what's going on. But, um, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this was like a crazy ending to the video, but 
whatever so yeah i uh, will see you guys in my next video and hopefully this one gets posted before a month later like the last video so yeah see you guys in my next video bye guys